Now the army has set up a coronavirus quarantine center near Delhi for students who are being brought back to India from China. As we speak, a special Air India flight is on its way to Wuhan. What you're seeing on your screens right now are visuals of that quarantine center in Manesar, just outside the national capital. Now, as we said, a special Air India flight from Delhi is uh, on its way to Wuhan as we speak to bring back uh, over 300 Indians who've been waiting to be evacuated because of the spread of the coronavirus. Now, these passengers are going to be placed in quarantine for two weeks after they return and they're going to be screened as well. All right, let's go across to Vishnu Shom, who's joining us uh, for more details. Vishnu, it's taken a while to get to this stage, um, um, though it was known that these uh, students uh, uh, were there in Wuhan and, and were stranded effectively. Um, what happens next? Well, this, Ankita, it's, it's quite concerning because uh, the government now sees this as being a critical situation. Obviously, it's a World Health Organization declared uh, international emergency. And so this is now a full-fledged Indian Army slash Indian Armed Forces mission to quarantine all of the 325 or so Indian students primarily who are coming back uh, from Wuhan in this massive facility with several barracks, uh, which has uh, been set up almost overnight in Manesar outside Delhi. So when these students actually land in Delhi, most of them are from Wuhan University. Now, Wuhan is a city where there are several universities where Indian students study. In fact, we've been in touch with some of these students as well. When these students come, uh, there'll be this test which will take place by RB doctors, those who are considered a suspect or those um, who possibly are, are a suspect case will be taken not to this facility, they will be taken to uh, the Indian Army's base hospital in Delhi Cantonment, those who have had close contact. In other words, those who could be possible cases of uh, having the virus will be sent to um, this particular facility in Manasar, as will those individuals who are considered non-contact cases, uh, those who perhaps have not been anywhere around but just on the basis of coming in from Wuhan will be sent over there. There are separate barracks. People from each barrack will not be allowed to talk to each other. Army doctors and nurses looking after the people in this facility will not be allowed to exit. 14 days is the minimum period after which, on the basis of detailed medical tests, certificates will be drawn out, which will need to be submitted uh, to local governments, the, the, the DMs and things like that, of whichever area these students uh, go back to their homes. Evacuees need to wear a three-layered mask at all times. All they can essentially do during this two-week period is play games, watch TV, and perhaps a few of them at one time can eat meals together. So this is a, a full-fledged emergency, obviously, at an international level. And I think the seriousness with which the government of India is dealing with this situation gives you an idea uh, of, of how serious uh, the, the, the situation presently is, Ankita.